workspaces are a pretty powerful way to design duplicate versions of projects or just basically to work in different ways with the same source audio files. This can be particularly helpful if you have a particularly iffy client who's switching around their ideas of, now I want this song first, or I want this song first, and we want a different mix for this one, and then they want to go back to their original one. Sometimes we all run into those projects where we've got to provide lots and lots of different versions, and sometimes people like to go back to the old version, and you can work with the same media, but rearrange it and do different things to it with different workspaces. Let's take a look at how that works. I've got a workspace right now where I've got the songs in the order that we decided on. The Beekeeper, Cryptic Translation, Edge of Space, Mysterious Figure, and What Links Us. Now, the client has decided they want the songs in a different order, and they want two of the songs to go right into each other. I'm pretty sure they're going to come back to this, but let's do what they want for now. I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to duplicate this workspace. So now I have a second one which I can rename by double-clicking it. All right, now what I'll do is I'll rearrange. So they decided they want cryptic translation to happen after the edge of space. So I'll just quickly move those around. And they also decided that they want cryptic to come right out of edge of space. So we'll do that, and there's a fade going on there. We'll learn about the fades a little bit later on. So now, without having to re-import everything and without having to make a whole new file and a whole new mastering process and all that stuff, I was able to have my different workspace. You see, we've got version one and version two with the different files in a different order. So here's my original order, Beekeeper, Cryptic, Edge of Space. And then with workspace version two, I've got Beekeeper, Edge of Space, Cryptic. You can see by the colors that match, even though over here my layers are labeled, it's just a different order in this particular workspace. So we can keep different versions of these project and render different versions, and then if they decide, oh, the first one we had was actually the best one, I changed my mind. Well, now you don't have to go back in and rearrange the files into a different order. You just flip back to that other workspace, everything is preserved, all your edits, all your fades, all your effects, the mix, the master, everything you've done, it's just moved around in the way that we want it moved around. So workspaces are an incredibly powerful way to keep different versions at your fingertips and try out different stuff. If you want the band to listen to just how the different fades work, you don't have to make them. Sometimes when you want to listen and compare two things, you don't want to redo it and then forget the way, old way. You can just quickly bounce between the two without having to render them. It's pretty powerful stuff.